We're going to be dimensioning three of the four shapes from the multi-view sketches level one assignment. Uh, the fourth shape is in a different video. Start with the L shape. Your front view should show the most amount of information, therefore usually it has the most amount of dimensions. I'm going to start with the height, and I have some nice big long extension lines, and that's so I can fit more dimensions inside of that. How tall is the object? Well, it's three blocks high. Uh, I don't care about units right now. We're just understanding the basics of dimensioning, so just use blocks um, three high, two wide. Now, what else do I need to show in my drawing? Well, I don't know how tall the bottom of my L is. It's one block high or one block tall, so I'm going to dimension that. And that's why I brought that three dimension really far out to the left, so I could fit this dimension inside of it. Next up, we need to figure out how thick is the object. Now we can't see that from the front view, so we have to go up to, you get to choose, it can be the front or the right view, really doesn't matter. Um, it's one block thick, everything is one block thick, and you only need to put it on one of the views. I'd say don't put it on both, because at that point it's, it's over dimensioned. They're the same thing. Lastly, I need to figure out how far that bottom of the L sticks out of the main upright. It's one block. Now we're not going to draw it inside of our views or right on our object. We're going to draw it outside of the drawings, right? And I would pick the top view just because you can put your extension line right on that seam and you can't exactly do that on the front view. It would be kind of far away. Now, believe it or not, that's all the dimensions that we need. You can figure out the length and height of all other aspects of this shape from these dimensions. So this is the bare minimum dimensions that we need. And that's all we're going to put. Moving on to this one shape. A little, little trickier. Um, as always, front view has the most amount of information, so it's probably going to get the most dimensions. Um, I'm going to start with the easiest ones, the, the length of the base and the height of the object. Three wide, three tall. Now, what do I need to figure out? Well, let's figure out the, uh, let's just call these the uh, extrusions of the one, the, the little block sticking out. How tall are they? Well, each of them are one block tall. Now, do we need to put a dimension in between those to show that the space between them is also one? No, we don't, because the entire height is three, and each of those little extrusions takes up one block. So what is three minus one minus one? Well, it has to be one. It can be nothing else, so we don't need to dimension that. Next, I need to show how far the uh, tops and bottoms of the ones stick out from the main upright portion. Now, it's one, right? We know that, but we need to show that in the drawing. And I'm choosing to put those dimensions on the top view because my extension lines can land almost right on the hidden line and then the object line. If I were to put them on the bottom, it wouldn't be wrong, but in a real complicated object, you might not be able to to tell what that extension line is is lighting up with if you were to put it on the bottom. But here we know they're pointing directly to that object and that hidden line. All right, is that it? No, we need to figure out how thick the object is. Now the top view and the right view are both have the same thickness, so we just need to label one. I'm gonna choose to dimension the top. And that's all we got. All right, last object. Start with the front view. What is the length of it? Well, we know it's three blocks wide. And then after that, we'll label the height. Now, I'm going to choose to dimension. If you imagine if it were a full three by two block, it would just be a perfect rectangle, except we've taken a, a square hole out of it. I'm going to dimension the hole and that's actually going to give me all the information I need. So the hole is one block tall and then how wide is it? Well it's also one block wide so we will dimension that and the only way we can see that we can see it best on the top view. right? We could put it on the bottom view but our extension lines wouldn't be able to line up perfectly with the uh, object line. Alright that's it right? No wrong we need to dimension the thickness
Boom, we're done.